What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ground Branch because they released their Intel update number 10, first version 1033 preview. Along with that, there is also a sale going on with this game that's 40% off, 17 bucks. It's actually not too bad for what's there. Let's go ahead and get into what this says here. What's up everyone? It's been a hot minute since our last Intel update, and although we have been patching version 1032 for a while now, work on the upcoming release of version 1033 has been ongoing for several months. Behind in the curtains before we get started teasing the goods however we need to talk about a couple of things summer sale ground branch is 40 percent off until july 7th that's right ground branch is currently a whole 40 percent off i think it's a better sale than uh, some other games that we don't like to talk about but anyways which we think is a pretty dang good deal for our highest discount yet you could grab a discount copy from their steam or their store obviously buying from their store is going to give them all the money whereas if you get it from steam steam gets a cut of about 30 percent i believe you have exactly two weeks until July 7th to think about it or get that one friend you know the one to pull the trigger on this fantastic opportunity let's get the word out to make sure to welcome the new players in all right moving on to the next thing we're hiring vfx artists wanted for particle effects this one is for industry pros that might be lurking blackfoot studios is looking for a vfx artist to create awesome realistic particle effects in ground branch and for more details they obviously have the links here if anybody's looking for a job obviously you can look at these also the senior gameplay engineer developer position is still open so if you know any Unreal Engine and C++ wizard out there, or happen to be one yourself, get in touch. Full job details are right here. So two open jobs for Ground Branch. This game has definitely come a long way, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Well, hop on it. Come on, guys. All right moving on to the next thing here the bread and butter so how is version 1033 coming along that's what most of you are here for let's move on to the sneak peeks we promised here are some of the exciting things currently under development new sky and weather system ground branch version 1033 is being set up with a new system that allows for dynamic skies and weather effects which means clouds the moon and stars will be making a return i never saw the skies as like something that was really prominent in ground branch so this just looks amazing to me not gonna lie i believe this is the rig map which has seen quite a bit of updates i don't know if this is newer or older kind of looks newer but i'm not too sure here but man that sky looks pretty nice not gonna lie it looks like something that wouldn't even be featured in a ground branch game if i'm being real and then this other one that's right here is obviously the one map but the really big forest i think i remember what the name of that one was i think it was depot not too sure but man that that sky looks pretty nice underneath these two pictures it says you like this sky kind of makes you feel like operating i feel like operating right now tears away civilian clothes oh boy what the hell are we talking about <laughs> we're still assessing performance but if it proves to work well we may soon be able to choose not just the time of day but also whether the sky is clear cloudy or overcast whether there's a moon out at night or not and even if it's rainy or foggy the whole system is being rigged up to inform the player of lighting and visibility conditions as well as to allow a specific mission date to be set in order to emulate a real life weather conditions of a certain area where the map is set at a given time this early prototype for more advanced settings should give you an idea of the depth of the new system All right, let's take a look at this oh hmm wow this is a lot of mumbo jumbo that i don't understand but i'm sure modders out here probably know what the hell this means oh this is the advanced section and then there's the simple one probably understand the simple one but i don't know too much about this one let's see time of day reset weather category cloudy can oh that'd be so nice if there was actually rain in this game uh, but they seriously need to like fix their freaking performance because that's the thing well that and the ai but the performance is always like an issue with me for some reason maybe it's just the computer but i don't know this looks interesting i would imagine that somebody that owns a server in this game would have a field day with this i honestly wouldn't know what i would be doing but, uh, yeah it looks interesting okay moving on underneath this it says although we are not sure how many of these options will be available to the players at least initially nor exactly how it will be displayed the back end to support it is already in place just keep in mind that it's early days and if the plug-in performance hit during regular gameplay is too big then we might need to pull it until we can make it all play nice all right so that was the weather effects moving on from that updated night vision effects incoming gpn vg18 i'm sure you guys can tell me what that uh abbreviation means one of the most requested items in ground branch history the famous and sometimes infamous particular 
particularly if you ask a GB dev, GPN MVG18 quad nods, paranormic night vision goggles, is finally making its way into the game, along with a number of enhancements to the overall night vision and IR effects. Ooh, one thing that I noticed about this picture is obviously the three here. I don't know why, but this just kind of looks like disorienting to me. I was never really a fan of the night vision and ground branch because it's just too damn blurry, hard to see. But this definitely makes it a lot better just because I could see a lot more and it looks a lot less blurry. But it still kind of looks a little disorienting to me. So we'll have to see how that uh, plays out. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks a lot better. I think this is the first time I've seen a different color MVG in Ground Branch. Before it was usually like green, but this one kind of looks like white phosphorus. I don't remember that being in the game, but they've definitely almost always had the IR laser. And I think it's actually a lot better in this game than it is in Ready or Not, if I'm being honest, at least at the moment. But yeah, this is pretty cool. More MVGs, great. Among the improvements, you will notice goggles take up a larger portion of the screen instead of simply expanding the MVG overlay mask, which would grant players an unrealistically wide field of view. This was done by switching the FOV, that is, by zooming in, in order to take the realistic field of view display at a larger size. This effect will likely be made optional, as it might disorient some players. Yeah, it definitely looks disorienting, like I said. Have a quick demo video, remember it's all work in progress, from Fat Morrow, a friendly neighborhood modding guy for Ground Branch. Actually, I don't even know if he still mods. It's been a while since I looked at his stuff, but let's check out this video. I have a link to his channel if you want to check it out. Well, it definitely looks better. The lines on the screen, though, will definitely look freaking disorienting, in my opinion. But I think I can deal with it, maybe. I kind of like how when he moves around, like, the goggles don't, like, stay on the screen. They're kind of, like, shifting themselves. You notice that? Because, like, the goggles aren't supposed to be, like, attached to your face. See how the goggles are, like, moving by themselves. Yeah, pretty cool video, though. Thank you, Mr. Fat Morrow, for sharing. You're freaking cool. But moving on from that, it says, As you may be able to spot in the video, the noise spectacle effect is being reworked. Mask movement and lens shading have been added to the camera to give a more natural feel. And the goggles now appear to bounce when running and sprinting. This will definitely be tweaked, toned down. The goggles are also using a white phosphor overlay, which will be available on the dual tube NVG2. Okay, cool. As will green be available on the GP NVG18. All right, cool. And the IR laser has also received an update. It looks a lot better, not gonna lie. It was a little more faint before, but now it's kind of like more clear. So that was the more updated MVGs. That's pretty nice. We'll go to the next thing here. Patches, but not the kind we had a bunch of for version 1032. We're talking Velcro patches that you can place on your character's shoulders, headgear, and eventually vests. Like so. Yeah, um... So they've actually had patches in the past, but like a really long time ago, I think that they said that they had some issues with uh, trying to actually use patches because I guess they were copyrighted or something. I don't, I don't remember the actual conversation, but I know that they had trouble trying to get patches in the game for one reason or another, but it looks like they're actually back into the game. Pretty nice. I wonder if we're going to be able to do custom patches too, but underneath this picture, it obviously says a full color US flag patch on the ball cap. Patches will be making a comeback from pre early access days. Wow. Has it really been that long? Man. And they should not only make the customization more fun and authentic, but also start making IFF a little easier. IFF? Not sure what that means. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me though. I hope. Another cool feature of patches will be a tint selection. In addition to the full color version of each patch, three types of subdued tints, tan, green, and grayscale, will be available for those who don't want no flashy colors spoiling their drip. Ooh, getting down with the kids, I see. Or their camo. Sure. Are you talking like how it showed like the American flag on the cap here, but you could actually tint it down to make it look like this? Is that what you mean? I'm not sure you have to clarify that one on me, my man. Underneath this, it says, patches may not be the only new stuff in this image. Note the subdued grayscale US American patch on the helmet and left shoulder, did I? Left shoulder. Oh, I barely saw that. Also, I noticed a new weapon here. That's a scar. It's a weapon that I guess people like hate in real life, but in games it's freaking great. Or at least that's what I've heard. Like they hate like this shoulder thing that's right here or something. But yeah. Anyways, they talk about the scar in the next one here. Weapons. 
you probably already spotted the MK17 Scar H in one of the screenshots above. So that cat is out of the bag. Modeled by our talented Cody Cudmore, aka Parallax Game Studios? Parallax Game Studios, why does this sound familiar? Yo, is that. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold the freaking phone. Is this a shotgun? Is that new? I don't remember seeing this shotgun. What else are you hiding, Mr. Cody? Anyways, the MK17 will initially come to two versions, CQC with the shorter 13 inch barrel and DMR with the standard 16 inch barrel and Midwest Industries handguard rail extension. So we got the two versions here. That, these are some, I mean, I've always liked the scar in video games, but I've heard that people dislike them in real life. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never shot one myself, but these look pretty nice, not gonna lie. Cody has modeled several extra parts. However, that will be available when the ability to swap stocks, handguards, and barrel is implemented. You can see most of the parts, along with some beautiful renders of the new MK17 in his artisan page, which we just looked at. Oh. Oh. Yo. Ooh. Oh shit. That looks nice. You got the mag here? That's pretty nice, dude. That right, ground branch. Woo! It's getting a lot of good updates, not gonna lie. But anyways, other upcoming weapon updates. Several of Cody models are being continually upgraded, so expect remasters of various attachments, including the ANPQ-15 and optics like Pro, RMR, AccuPower, and more, to have made their way into the game by the time version 1033 hits. Another new asset that you may have spotted earlier is the new M1911A1 by Bakara Saad, aka Raider3D. This is a very nice weapon. I've always been a fan of the 1911. It's probably one of my favorite pistols, if I'm being real. This modernization of the M1911A1 features a picatinny rail for lights and lasers and a threaded barrel for suppressors, as well as eight round and 10 round magazines. Aesthetically, it combines the elements of various iconic 1911 style pistols used by American SOF over the last couple decades, retaining much of the classic look. The update will include plenty of a AK-74 and AK-105 platforms, both with and without Zenit Co. parts, new SVDs and PMM pistols, the suppressor for the MK-46 machine gun, but hang in there, we'll be unveiling more of these in the future. Okay, this is cool and all, but when are we gonna get a freaking bipod? More importantly, when am I gonna be able to prone? Where is that feature? What the frack? But anyways, characters. As those spoilery screenshots earlier showed, character assets will be getting some new additions as well, namely, we'll be adding new character head and beards will finally make their comeback that's not all but since we're not sure at this time just how much will make it into version 1033 we kindly request that all readers exercise caution with their hype levels let's take a look you know i'm not gonna lie this reminded me a lot of that dumb thing that battlefield 2042 said in their freaking update video gamers just don't understand are specialists so we just made them look dirty implying that i guess gamers are dirty like i don't know like it literally reminds me of that for some stupid reason <laughs> that was so oh my god i can't believe they fucking did that but anyways back to the update sorry this looks pretty good not gonna lie this is the fifth character i believe that they added in i think they have like a, a black guy an asian guy a white guy and uh, another an old looking guy i think this guy looks a little younger than the old guy male five render with and without the beard okay and then this is showing off all the styles that you can do it seems this looks oh 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 pretty nice you guys look so freaking dirty or is that just camo i can't tell maybe it's maybe it's just camo I'm not too sure. They do look kind of dirty in the face, not gonna lie. Underneath this picture it says, Hairstyles fit for each character, including the headwear versions of the longer styles to reduce clipping. Okay. Hair color selection may not make it to version 1033, but the assets have all been created to allow it once we get the functionality in. Oh, we're going to get hairstyles? Nice. Lastly, for the character art department, another commonly requested item since version 1032 has been tucked in tops. How... Penaliver, Penaliver, sorry for butchering your guys' names, is making the adjustments, and we'll see how they end up in the game as far as selection goes. 
and it's showing off this here where it's actually showing the shirts all tucked in and stuff i didn't even know that was like something that was really requested but okay cool some shirts look a little off when tucked in so we're working on tucked in versions pretty neat and last but not least audio and animations among other things that we'll be discussing in a later update mixon and mike have been busy getting new weapons to sound and move nicely respectively mick has also been working on environment specific tales which refers to how gunshot sounds reverberate differently depending on the type of environment so in addition to sounding different depending on whether you're outdoors in a small room or larger room shots in version 1033 will have distinctive tales for urban marine or generic outdoors with the possibility of a woodland area tale in the future too here's a little demo and i believe this is from the ground branch youtube channel let's see Ooh, I like it. Looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Oh, this the, uh, ooh. <clears throat> not bad, not bad, not bad. Wow, the FAO sounds good. Wait, what is that on the side there? Is that like a handle for the for the FAO right here? What is that? Huh. Suppressed. Nice. That was pretty cool. New unsuppressed gunshot SFX for the MPX, 545mm AK platforms, and other weapons will also be in this update. Okay, cool. Other developments. This is it for today's Intel update, but before we sign off, we are also working on AI features, modding, map updates, and a new map and game modes for version 1033 that we'll be showcasing at a later date. Thanks for reading and stay tuned. So that's pretty much it for the update, boys and girls. What are your guys' thoughts? I thought that there was quite a bit going on in here, not gonna lie. And that is it for the video what are your guys' thoughts let me know what you think because i'm gonna end it here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ground brands then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video any donation helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ground branch or any other game that i decide to cover with that all being said i want to thank everybody for going out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye